Hey everyone, I'm currently running a multi six figure per year faceless channel and today I'm going to go over step by step on how you can start a faceless channel in 2023. What you're going to be learning in this video is what is a faceless channel, how to choose a niche, how to make faceless videos and then I'm going to have some advice for beginners. So what is a faceless channel? Well, it's pretty much self explanatory, but it's a YouTube channel where you do not show your face. Examples are a cooking channel where the ingredients and processes are shown, but not necessarily the faces of the person cooking. A movie review or like a summary channel where some clips or images from the movies are playing or some educational channels using whiteboard animation to explain just like a lecture. The beauty of running a faceless channel is if you are shy and do not want to show yourself, you can still have a YouTube channel where you can make profits. And also, unlike a personal brand channel where you have to be available for every recording, a faceless channel allows you to outsource if you wish so. But there are some cons of course, especially for beginners and I'll get more into that later in this video. Now that we know what a faceless channel is, the next step is choosing a niche. But what is a niche? Well, a niche is like a category or a genre and picking a niche is very important in order to have a successful YouTube business. Just like the examples from earlier, a cooking channel or a movie summary channel, you want to specialize in one category and be the go-to person of it. Not someone who talks about a little bit of dogs and cats sometimes, talks about investments and cryptocurrency sometimes, and movies and TV shows sometimes. You want to stick to one and provide entertainment and knowledge and value so that people who care about the category and trust your information will subscribe to your channel and keep coming back for more and more videos. You know, I actually have another video where I go over 10 amazing niches for faceless channels and all the criteria for choosing one. So make sure you check out that video after this one. Anyways, once you pick a niche for your channel, where do you go from there? The video creation process has three components script writing, voiceovers, and editing. First, you want to find like at least 10 competitors within your niche, go over their channels and find the videos that have a lot of views, like more than 100,000 views for example. One of the biggest mistakes beginners make when starting out a YouTube channel is they create a video of what they want, but truthfully, if you want to be successful, you need to create videos on what your viewers want, not the other way around. It's a no brainer that if you create content on something nobody cares about, then nobody is going to watch it. So at least in the beginning until you get the hang of it, make videos on what has already worked. Do not reinvent the wheel. Now that you have the first video idea, you need to write a script. Now everyone has their own opinions on how many words you should have and how long each videos are. But in the very beginning, when you are first starting out, I recommend 800 words, which is about five minutes, like it'll become a five minute video. And the reason I suggest making a shorter video is let's just be frank guys, no one's going to watch your first video or even your first 10 videos. And, and I know it because no one watched my first 10 videos. And in fact, uh, I don't even know if, if anyone is watching this video where I'm talking right now. You know, the whole video creation process can take hours and hours and there's nothing more devastating than spending hours and hours just having no views. So in the beginning, make shorter videos and practice topic hunting, practice script writing, practice video editing. Go for quantity over quality. Let YouTube know what your channel is about. Then when it comes to voiceover, you know, I started off with my own voice and eventually I started hiring voice actors. Now it's going to be completely up to you for this part, but I recommend doing it yourself until you're at least monetized because until you're monetized and making money, you don't want to be spending money. You know, we're here to make money, not waste money. Then we have the video editing process. You know, when I first started off, I was just using iMovie, which came free with my MacBook. And once I got monetized, I got Final Cut Pro for like a little bit more advanced editing. These two are both really easy to use. And, and if you don't have Final Cut Pro already or a paid software, then I, I recommend just using the free software that came with your computer, like iMovie. I was actually using iMovie until I was making about $5,000 per month. Next off, I want to give some advice for beginners. So earlier I talked about outsourcing and to be honest, at my current stage, I do outsource a lot of my processes, but I don't recommend people to outsource until they're at least monetized. 
The reason being is because I see a lot of people who outsource without learning any other processes and all they end up doing is wasting thousands of dollars. I don't want you to lose money. Do everything yourself, learn the processes, then outsource the ones that you don't like. This way you'll also learn the ins and outs of the business so when it comes to hiring a freelancer, you'll be in a much better position to explain to them the specifics of what you would like. The next advice I have for beginners is to not invest in any expensive equipment to start. If you have a smartphone, you can record your voice there. If you have iMovie, you can edit your videos. When I first started, I spent nothing. Everything I had was all I needed to make thousands of dollars and I just upgraded along the way. The next advice I have for beginners is to remember this. Thousands of people are going to start today and in about a year or two, they're going to be making five, ten, and even $20,000 per month like how I did. This process works and it could completely change your life. Keep this in mind as you're starting out on this journey. Be serious about it. Invest your time to learn the processes I've laid out in this video. Ask questions along the way and just do your absolute best because it could literally change your life like how it changed mine and thousands of others out there as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, I'll see you in the next one.